Hi everybody, my name is Florian, I'm one of the developers of EasyFino and today I will give you a tutorial on how to run EasyFino using our Docker workflow. Everything that I will talk about today can also be found online in our easyfino.readthedocs.io documentation. Here we have a tutorial on how to run EasyFino using Docker. In one of our previous tutorials, I showed you how to set up the Docker workflow in the first place for EasyFino. So for this tutorial, we assume that you successfully set up the Docker workflow for EasyFino and that everything is running on your machine. As you know from this previous tutorial, EasyFino is designed for Ubuntu, but as we are now within our Docker container, this restriction is not relevant anymore. So, as we assume that we are within our Docker container now, we go again to our terminal window and we are still within our Docker container, so basically at the end of our previous tutorial. So if we type ls now, we can again see our mounted share, which is in my home. And here we have our EasyFino repository. And within this EasyFino repository, if we go to docs, source and tutorials, we can see that we integrated some tutorial data. And this tutorial data is basically some toy data that we can now use for this tutorial or also for initial tests if you integrate a new model for example and if you want to test if it's running. But now let's go back to our root directory of our repository. EasyFino has a pretty straightforward API on how to start an optimization run. So to do so, you just have to type hyphen 3 minus m. Don't forget the minus m as we load it as a module. And then you have to type easyfino.run and you have to specify the save directory. In our case, we will just save our results into our my home directory. So just the directory that we mounted from our local machine. And by doing so, we will start an optimization run for XGBoost using our tutorial data. And every time you start an optimization run, you will always get some output on the current state. So for example, the preparation of the data set with loading the data, applying the math filters and so on. And you also always get a config information. Here you find information on the data that is used, the models that are optimized, the data split which is used, the math filters, and so on and so forth. And in the end, you can see that the optimization now starts for our auto fold zero, and within that fold, you can always see the current progress of your Optuna optimization. This optimization run will now take some time, so we will see you soon and then we will have a look on the results which are created by EasyFino. So see you soon! Okay, great! So now we are done, our optimization is finished. And in the end, we always see some output with some summary statistics on all the folds. So for example, we see the best parameters that were found, some evaluation metrics and also some runtime metrics. So in the end, we always get for each algorithm that we ran information for each fold that we wanted to optimize. And now let's have a look into the results that were generated. So in our case, we saved our results directly at my home. That will automatically create a folder which is called results. 
and within that folder we then have the name of the genotype matrix in our in our case that's the x matrix and within that folder we have all the phenotype matrices which are assigned to that genotype matrix and in that folder again we have all the phenotypes from that phenotype matrix so for example here we have the continuous values and here in the end we can find our optimization results so in this case it was a nest cross validation with five outer and five inner folds and we apply a math filter of zero so basically no math filter we ran the optimization for XGBoost and here we have a timestamp for the uniqueness of that folder and if we now go into that folder we can then see that we have detailed results for each of the outer folds we can find the runtime information and so on and so forth for each algorithm and we have a results overview file so that was basically how you can run easy Fino using our tutorial data which is pretty straightforward but now let's check how you can run easy Fino if you want to use your own data for that purpose we first have to go back to our repository so we go back to easy Fino here and if we then run python 3 minus m easy Fino dot run minus minus help then we will get all the options that we provide with our run script so for example we provide the data directory which is by default in this tutorial my home but in your case you may need to supply your own data directory so the path to your genome and phenotype files you can specify safe directory the name of the genotype phenotype matrix the phenotype itself encoding the math percentage data split and so on and so forth the models that you want to optimize here you can also specify multiple ones for example if you specify minus minus models mlp xgboost then we will run the optimization for both of them the number of trials in our case it was just 10 in practice it should be way more maybe 100 or 200 or something and some further um, parameters so with this um, easyfin.run minus minus help you can find information and all the parameters but you can also check our online documentation at readthedocs.io yeah, now we are at the end of our tutorial on how to run EasyFino using our Docker workflow. I hope you enjoyed and now I wish you a lot of fun for running EasyFino on your own data. See you in another tutorial. Bye!